Hello everyone, I am back with more Graveyard Keeper, and today I think I might be trying to find out who this mysterious woman was, and also I think we're finally able to expand the refugee camp. But it looks like the stupid donkey needs some stuff, but that will be quite easy to get. I am kind of a pack rat. I just need a little paper for these aphorisms, and for that we'll use the skin. There we go. We'll grab our face, then we'll make these. Not enough energy. Muffin button! There we go. That was easy enough. I want to check out the message, but we'll do that in a second, because I'm almost out of inventory space. Stash those. Stash those. Donkey, get your stuff and get out. Okay, so since it's nighttime, everyone's asleep, let's go to bed and talk to everyone in the morning. Oh, I'm so refreshed. It's still nighttime. Ooh. But we got a message instead of a body. Who said there's no money in revolutions? Merchant will be delighted to see this stuff. <gasps> Bank checks. Jewelry. Cool. Is that it? Is that all I get? You've never seen so many zeros. Unfortunately, the checks are personalized. Well, dang. And I got jewels. <sighs> it's impossible to cash them. They're personalized. They're nothing more than kindling. Morning, everyone. Oh, they're doing things. Well, they're trying to do things. I'm gonna steal your food, because I'm hungry. Thank you. It was delicious. And we'll plant your wheat. <laughs> I can't believe they're making the wheat stuff right now. That's so cool that it's happening in front of my face. And then they'll make dough, and that means more muffins. All right, let's go talk to Alark about the mystery woman. I have some new information, Master Alark, about the vampires who kidnapped you. There was a woman who ordered them to do it and to turn you into a vampire. A woman in a black and gold cloak. You ever heard anything about her? Hi, donkey. You're, you're interrupting. I would have remembered if the kidnappers mentioned her, but they didn't. They mentioned ghouls a lot. They said they'd feed me to them if I kept quiet. <laughs> How foolish. Every adult knows that ghouls don't exist. I think that woman might be the key to our mystery. Sorry, can't help you. But listen, why do you smell so strange? The thing is, when Lady Beatrice visited me, she... Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, well, we talked to him. Now we need to go talk to other guy. The guy that's in charge. Where is he? Is that him? Are you playing with the honey? Warn Lady... <laughs> lady. <laughs> Warn Tidororo about Lady Beatrice. Ah, uh, Keeper, you're just in time. I was about to visit you. We've had terrible news. The king was in a terrible rage and refused to even speak to my cousin about our bid for clemency. His son's wedding was disrupted. The bride is dead. Oh, what happened? Inquisitors, a group of inquisitors led by some Lady Beatrice accused her of witchery. They produced some evidence. So the court's judgment was swift. That's bad. By the way, that Lady Beatrice person, you know, just uh, mentioned uh paid me a visit she's looking for you we've got nowhere else to go so i hope she stops looking before she finds us here mm, well that's probably not gonna happen we'll have to stay here for a long time maybe forever mm, how can i help first we need an improved warehouse and an improved campfire and one more tent will be just right we can take in more refugees hmm that smell is that cloves? Where is that coming from? Weird. Yay, we can build more things. We can expand. So we need to improve our campfire. Easy. Storehouse. Easy. And resident. All easy. But I need to go get stuff because I have nothing. So I need sticks and silk, stone, and fletch. We got this. First, I gotta empty my pocket. Too much crap in my pockets. I don't know why I have teeth in my pockets. Not gonna question it. Emptied my inventory. <sighs> no dead body. But he left me a note. Hey, what's the note say? <laughs> Donkeys of all countries unite! You jackasses. <laughs> One, E C O P O D P liked your aphorisms very much. <laughs> so we have decided to adopt them as the constitution of the coming worldwide donkey socialistic republic. After consuming the faith every day, donkeys became greatly inspired, even believing that all donkeys are equal. We have had to remind them with our hooves that some donkeys are more equal than others. Thus, you have passed the second stage of earning the approval of the 
Go po da be pee pa doo do. Keep going. We need donkey combat equipment in the contraband box. Your task is to assemble and deliver battle horseshoes and iron unicorn horns. And a magic pumpkin too. One we can exchange for the luxurious carriage of the royal veterinarian. Okay, so we got all that stuff to do. And now I'm just focusing on the materials I need and I'm slow again. Stop being slow. So we need some of this. And we need some of this. And we need some of this. And we need some of this. Let's go back. Camp, hello. So if I do the resident first, that means there's a potential for more happiness, I think. Where are we putting this? Down here? Oh, there's a couple places. All right, we're gonna put that right here. Nice. Okay, so now we're out of happiness. Let's go build that real quick. Yay! I feel as if we're gonna need to clear this out. So now we have the potential of hitting 10 for the happiness. So we just have to wait until they're happy again to add more things. All right, time to go home. Home. Let's get this body real quick. Thank you for the body. Oops, I dropped him on the floor. <laughs> okay, I need your blood. Vampires love blood. Then I need your meat, because I need to make some sandwiches. And then I need your skin, because I need to make some books. Nothing wrong with that, nothing at all. Hey, Steve, you want to go for a nice swim? Bye, Steve. So I'm going to take a nap. And since the nap is not enough, we're going to go meditate. Be happy, refugee camp. Be happy. Okay, let's go check out the camp. Hello, everyone. You're a little happy. I can make you a villager. Do you like your new villager? Where is he? Hey, new guy. Where are you? Oh. <gasps> there he is. Hi. Oh, it's a lady, I think. Ooh, how you doing? Are you a vampire? I feel like you're a vampire. Stop moving. I want to talk to you. Lady, she left me. Well, that was quick. They're almost ready for a new person. But I'm going to go back home. And I'm going to wait until they're at 10. See you in like an hour. All right, it's a great morning to go and talk to the shepherd guy. Because I know I'm supposed to talk to him about the mysterious woman. I have only remembered where he lived. I feel like it's this way. Shepherd. You're not Shepherd. Shepherd. Shepard. Shepherd. There he is. Hello, Shepherd. Why'd you have to go and do that? If you hadn't intervened, I would have had that bloodsucker the next second. Or he would have dealt with you in half a second. Sorry about that. I promise it won't happen again. Good. He didn't stand a chance. You saw how he was so frightened he went deaf. <laughs> sure. Okay, buddy. Uh, let's talk about that women. Don't leave your home without a weapon, Keeper. These days, we must be on the lookout. Evil is everywhere. No kidding. Tell me. What do you know about a woman in a black and gold cloak? Uh, is she a werewolf? An evil spirit? A rider with a burning skull instead of a head? She might be a vampire, but I'm not so sure. Then let's go kill her. Dissect her and find out. Well... She was around 30 years ago, but who knows where she is now, or if she's even alive. Hmm, a black and gold cloak, you say? I remember one fresco. I always admired it. When I visited the town cathedral as a child, it was called Master Vess Vampire Queen. And that queen wore a cloak like the one you mentioned. Vampire Queen? Mm. That sounds terrifying. Who else might know about this Vampire Queen? who is comfortable dealing with the undead. <gasps> Jerry! Gary? Jerry. Do you guys love me? <gasps> it's Vampire Queen. Well, hold on. Let's bring another person in. There we go. Hey, vamp. I'll be short. Do you want me to give you some work, Graveyard Keeper? Yes, sure. Depends on the amount of work and the payment. Good. I need a gravestone for one of my acquaintances. But my tools are back in town. Could you provide other tools? Yes, and my condolences for your loss. What happened to your acquaintance? Well, according to the newspapers, I strangled him on our wedding night. But of course, that's just a vile lie. It's a lie. Just like all the gossip about the asphyxiation of my three previous husbands. It was all just a series of accidents. You know how it is, wild. Passion, alcohol, role-playing, special toys for enhancing desire. Um. 
What exactly do you need from me? I need five iron chisels and ten wooden wedges. In exchange, I'll give you a serious discount on my stuff. Ooh, what do you got? Okay, cool. I gotta give her stuff. Come on. Come on, get happy. Come on, get happy. Oh, they're going to bed. All right, going home. Dink. All right, so we're gonna take a little nap. And that one lady needs wedges, which I know I have. I just don't know where. Oh, so here's wedges. And she needs iron chisels, which I don't actually think I have. There is actually something I don't have in this world. Cool. Well, I can make them really quick. Need five of those. Get to it. You're out of room, aren't you? Oh, well. We'll make more storage. That there. That there. And that there. Just make more storage. Simple as that. Okay, so I got all my chisels made. Let's go and talk to the vampire queen lady. Good morning, everyone. Are you guys my friends? You guys are my friends. Hi. I don't know, but I'm going to give you your chisels and your wedges. Great. I'll start my work immediately. I hope my dead husband's relatives will be satisfied. The thing is... They already sent me a couple of threatening letters. Just in case, could you please build a workbench for me so I can do my work more effectively? I could. Yay, I have something else to do. Um, also, can you just come work for me? I probably got a dead body rotting in my basement. I really don't want to do anything about it. We don't have any of her supplies. Oh, bigger storehouse means... Boom. Yeah. More muffins. Now let's see how much storage they can have. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, it's glorious. Okay, so now we just need the refugee camp to be a little bit happier, and then we can expand. So let's go back to sleep. All right, good morning. Well, it's good night, I guess, because we woke up in the middle of the night. Oh, and it's super foggy. I can't see a thing. So I did end up trying to organize my stuff, but it's a lot of work and I don't really care that much. Speed potion, yay. So I know we have a body that we can take care of until sunrise. Ew, he kinda stinky. Let me chop you up. I need your blood and your meat and your skin. Thank you. And maybe I should just gut this one. I'm gonna take it all out. Yeah. Gonna be completely hollow. All right, folks, we completely gutted body. There's nothing left of him. Hey, Carl, you're feeling a little light. Maybe you'll float. Let's give it a shot. Hi, Carl. Back to expanding the refugee camp. Top priority. What level are we at? 7.4. So we can build nothing. We need eight. All right. We'll be back. Oh, wait. Ah, 8.65. Campfire. <gasps> that looks so cool. I like it. And now we're up to 11 max. Nice. All right. Let's go home. Bink. So we upgraded all that. We'll talk to Todoro in the morning and we'll see what else we have to do to expand. Good morning, everyone. It's a lovely day, a lovely day to talk to Tator Todoro. Let's go check him out. Ooh, do you guys like your, your new fancy fire? I bet you do. All right, where's Tador Todoro? Hey, Todo. This camp is beginning to feel more and more like home. Thanks for your efforts, of course. Thank you, my friend, for the warehouse and the campfire. No problem. It wasn't too difficult. As far as I know, many others are already prepared to join us. Would you be so kind to raise one more tent? I'll show you raising a tent. I mean... And I would also ask you to build a workbench for me. I've thought of some designs, and I can't wait to see if they work in practice. Perhaps the results of my research will be useful not only to us, but to you as well. A tent? A workbench? Easy. Cool. More expanding. Yay. Let's go. I need planks and nails and happiness too. Cool. And I'll bring sticks. Awesome. We're on our way. Let's do it. Dink. All right, we got some nails. We got plenty of nails. <laughs> we got a whole crap load of nails. And we need some planks. There they are. Wooden planks. Hi, camp. How you doing? Ooh, we're at 11. Okay, so we need Undertaker and Todoro's workshops. Let's do hers first because she asked first. And I figure we should be nice. There we go. And Todoro, you're next. Well, what are you doing? Stop trying to grab the flowers! 
Oh my freaking god. He's like, no, I don't want to build. I want to grab flowers. Flowers are pretty. Whatever. Workshop done. Now we just need happiness again. So I think I'm going to sleep. All right. Muffin time. Oh. <laughs> Happy surprise. Okay. So now all we're waiting on is happy points to build Todoro his uh, storage. So let's go back to sleep. Another lovely morning and we're gonna go see if we can build Todoro Todoro's uh, happy place. Are you happy enough? Yes, you are. Awesome. Here you go, Todoro. I think I have to build one more workshop, but we'll build Todoro's right now. Ta-da! Oh, he wants a tent. Son of a, how much for a tent? Yeah, 10 happy points. Okay, fine. Hey lady, I built your place. Mm -hmm. Your workbench is ready. That's perfect, though, you know, it might not be enough. My dead husband's relatives are insisting on the best gravestones I'm capable of. Yesterday I discovered the decapitated head of my dear horse Molly under my blankets. Uh, that sounds serious. What can I do for you? Just five quality steel chisels. Okay, well that's easy enough to do. Todoro, I will be back with more happiness and more tent fun. And I will be back with your, uh, your chisels there. Morning. Running slow. Alright, we'll take care of that. We'll go to the camp. How are you guys all doing? Ooh, 11. That is awesome. Let's make a new tent. Alright, tent is being built. Oh, we forgot the chisels. Oh well. Ta-da! Cool. We're up to 12. Well, while everyone's asleep, I'm gonna go home. We're gonna work on making those chisels. Can you make the chisels? Oh yeah, you can make steel ones. Are you supposed to make the lens? Yeah, you are. And for that, I need the paste. And for that, we need that. And for that, we need you. Alright. This is quite a process. Do do. No, I don't want the freaking muffins. The first time in the world I've ever said that, but... <laughs> I'm out of inventory space every time I come in here. Refugees, I'm giving you all my muffins. You need them more than I do. Oh, it is pouring rain. There you go. Home. Okay, so let's go get some fat. Now we'll make some oil from the fat. Now we can make some paste. Then we can make some lenses. Then after that, we can start working on these chisels. Let's do five of those. I'm gonna go and take a nap. You get done with that, let me know. And he is done. We gotta make chisels. We gotta make five gold quality chisels and we're gonna have this dude do it. While I wait, oh, Clotho, are you awake? I need some potions to get a little speedy. How you doing there, buddy? All right, speedy potion. Thank you. Don't wanna get slow now, do we? Okay, so I think he just needs this last one and then we will be good to go. There you go, buddy. Awesome. One, two, three, four. Number five is heading this way. Come on. Come on, man. Speed it up. Speed it up. Woo -hoo. Number five. Thank you. Time for the camp. And where's the lady? Vamp lady. Hey, bouncy Betty. Hey, bouncy Betty. Come on. Come on. Stop moving. There we go. Hey, I got your chisels. I hope these will help you see an end to the threats from your dead husband's relatives. Hmm, quality things. They'll be really helpful in my affairs. What about my husband relatives? Their threats don't scare me anymore. My own relatives will take care of them during my husband's funeral, if you know what I mean. It seems like I understood that. By the way, how do you make your special gravestones? Wouldn't you like to know my secrets? Hmm, okay. But don't tell them to anybody, or... Or come next holiday, something nasty will happen to me? Yeah, I got it. <gasps> Ooh, I can learn advanced gravestones. Yeah, yeah. I had advanced, advanced gravestones. Yeah, yeah. What do you got to trade? Oh, I can just buy these beautiful things. Holy crap. That's awesome. We can build a better graveyard. <laughs> hey. Uh, wasn't that what I was supposed to be doing? Oh, well. Todoro, are you here? Yeah, yeah. Hey, buddy. Good work. <laughs> now we have new vacancies in our camp. Soon my friends will join us. Why can't they come right away? It's dangerous for them to remain in town. There are many obstacles. Besides, it's not easy to abandon your home, your relatives, your community. Not to mention, it's no easy task to leave town in secret. As a matter of fact, it's mortally dangerous. The town guards have a list of people who are counted by Inquisition as possible heretics. Well, let's be patient. Wait, 
Weren't you gonna teach me something? Be 11 people. There must be 11 people in camp. How many people do we have? Ooh, bed. There we go. Haha. -ha. I got a new person in camp. Hey, buddy. You're amazing. We were miserable fugitives, frightened, hopeless, desperate, doomed. And now we've become proud settlers, looking to the future with bravery and hope. Uh, this would have been impossible without your help, my dear friend. Well, yep, it'd be silly to deny it, but thanks to you too. Moreover, I think we have some serious potential for further development. <gasps> Ooh. I spoke in secret with the head of the local village, Hordrick. He wouldn't mind establishing regular trade with us, and so on. A little something f from me personally, this book. A close friend wrote it. They cut him down while we were escaping from prison. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot to you, my friend. I got stuff. What do you give me? What do you give me? What do you give me? What's this? Universal bag. Crafted at church workbench? Wait, is it a bag within a bag? What's, what's going on? I don't know what that is. What's this? I got a universal bag. Is it a bag within a bag? Does my bag have a bag? I think that's what that means. Can I put stuff in my bag? Let's go home. We'll find out. Let's put... All the things in my bag. <gasps> it is a bag and put in a bag. Oh, that's awesome. I think I need to make more bags. We're gonna have like a muffin bag and a dough bag. <laughs> Can I make more bags? He said church workbench. One of these is a church workbench. <gasps> I can make one. Oh yeah, skin, iron parts, and tanning agent. Well, that makes sense. <gasps> Ew. My bags are made out of human skin. That's kind of creepy. I love it. Anyways, I think I'm going to leave it here for now. Uh, I definitely got some updating with the refugee camp. And we're going to figure out what all this stuff is going to end up. Hey, hi, Iron. Anyways, uh, yes. So thank you for liking, subscribing. And definitely can't wait to do more of this and finish this off. And we'll try some other games. Anyways, see you later. Bye-bye.